LinkedIn, how to add a LinkedIn manager to your page, how to create the LinkedIn um, insight tag, how to set up the ad manager so that you can do remarketing. And that's kind of the main thing. So you might have been contacted by me as we're getting things set up. And I asked you to add me as a manager. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing you do is you log into LinkedIn. And let's just assume that you already have a page made. You're going to hit me and you're going to drop down and go to company and find your company. Click on the company page which I'm already on the company page. And then once you're on your company page, go to this admin tool up here. So admin tools, okay? Admin tools, drop down and you're going to manage admins. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna search my name here um, and add it. And once it finds that person, um, here's somebody I know that's in there. You would just click boom and you'd get going. And then remember, you can do uh, different levels of it. So pipeline builder admins, lead gen forms, recruiter posters. Um, if you're with me, add me as the full admin. Um, that's the first thing. Here's the second thing. If you hit the advertise button up here, um, it could be that I added you on this. But if you have an advertising account, real quick, I'm going to show you how to add an admin. So um, if you don't have an account, you're going to hit advertisements. Come here and hit create account. You're going to create the name or put your account name in there so that it can be seen. Put your um, find your actual company name so that it's connected. And once you've gotten that, um, let's show you what that looks like. There's kind of three different things you're going to see here. One, uh, if you hit the gear up top and you go to manage access, manage access. This is where you can um, come and add an admin. So you hit edit, add a user to the account and you can search and you'll be able to add an administrator to your LinkedIn campaign manager. Um, and then you can make them as you add them. Let's just, this is a, a friend. You can do viewer, creative camp manager, campaign manager, account manager, sent me as the account manager if your customer. Um, once you do that, you can do the billing admin. So that's where you add different administrators to the actual account. The second thing, if you head here and you go down to Billing Center, you'll be able to add your billing information and get your credit card in there. So if I've set it up for you, I add you as an administrator, come into the Billing Center. Um, the other thing that we do, and, and if you're setting this up for yourself, hit Account Access or Account Assets and the Insight Tag. So the Insight Tag is an incredibly important um, situation that you want to get set up. Um, wow. So I already did this. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to hit insight tag and you're gonna create an insight tag and it's asking me how do I do this? I'm gonna, inst I'm gonna use Google Tag Manager. Um, but you could just grab the code and install it yourself. You put it in the header code. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna say, say <laughs> well, so if you install the tag yourself, here's the script. So it's JavaScript. You put this in the same place that you would put your Facebook pixel, the same place you would put your uh, all of your analytics code and whatnot. But if you have a whole bunch of different scripts, it gets a little messy. I recommend using what's called Google Tag Manager to install it. So I, I have a blank one there. Um, so I'm going to use Google Tag Manager. And if you see here, we've got the partner ID number. When I click on, uh, I will use Tag Manager, Google Tag Manager. I'm going to grab the partner ID. Um, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to hit... Um, come into Google Tag Manager, you're going to hit Tags, hit New, and uh, let's just call this LinkedIn Insight Tag and Tag Configuration. If you search LinkedIn here, um, it pops up. And LinkedIn Insight Tag right here. So we're going to select that, and it's going to ask for the Insight Tag ID. That's great. Now we're going to fire this tag on all pages so that it's there. Hit Save. Once you hit Save, um, you would be able to uh, preview it if you wanted to. So you could hit preview. And uh, once it's previewed, you can go to your website and actually see if it if it's on there. So if I go to, which it's not right now because this is just a dummy. So I'm going to leave preview mode. But then you'd have to submit it. And once you hit submit, it will be done. And it will actually set up. The next thing you're going to want to look at. So once you have that tag manager in, you'll want to verify that it's actually there. Um, let's close this out. The next thing you'll really want to work on, and this is with all advertising, is when you come into account, you're going to want to work on your conversions, right? So conversions, you'll want to work with Google Tag Manager um, <clears throat> and a number of different, maybe a thank you page or whatnot. The idea is you need to tell it what a win is, right? So you need to tell it um, whether it's a lead, a call, whatever that is, you'll want to set up conversions so that you can use the 
AI or the machine learning within the account. So that's how you get LinkedIn set up, guys. Good luck. Again, this is July 2020. How to set up your insight tag, add a manager, and get everything set up.